This is a CBS News Detroit update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Sandra Ali. Here's a look at your top headlines on this Thursday. The fate of James Crumbly now in the hands of a jury. The father of the Oxford High School shooter refused to take the stand yesterday. Closing arguments wrapped up shortly afterwards. The jury's deliberation now set to continue this morning at 9. James Crumbly is facing the same charges as his wife. She was convicted last month of four counts of involuntary manslaughter. Of course, stay with us for ongoing coverage and analysis of the trial. You can find it on the CBS News app, Pluto TV, and CBSDetroit.com. President Joe Biden will be in Michigan later today. This as he campaigns for your vote in November. He'll be in Saginaw. That's where he'll be talking to black and union affiliated voters. Saginaw voters went with former President Donald Trump back in 2016. That was before narrowly swinging to Biden in 2020. Lately, though, the president has really been struggling with support in Michigan, especially among Arab Americans because of his handling of the Israel Hamas war. FEMA now offering help for people impacted by the severe storms from last August. You can now get $300 to cover your cleaning expenses. It's part of FEMA's Clean and Sanitize Assistance Program. To qualify, your home has to have suffered damage and then cleaned, and either your insurance didn't cover the cost or you didn't have insurance to pay for it. For more information, go to our website, cbsdetroit.com. On your block in Detroit, starting on March 25th, a brand new shuttle service will be able to take you from downtown to Metro Airport. It's called Detroit Air Express, or DAX. It's a nonstop service. It'll make 16 trips a day, year round. You can prepay for a trip for $6 on the Regional Transit Authority of Southeast Michigan website, or you can pay $8 when you board the shuttle. We have a traffic alert for you this morning. This will impact your drive between I-75 and Grand River Avenue. Starting tomorrow morning at 8, the lodge will be closed between I-75 and M5, and it's going to stay that way throughout the weekend. And during that time, all the ramps in that stretch will be closed as well. Let's go ahead and get a look at your next weather forecast this morning with Troy. Troy, good morning. Good morning, Sandra. What a difference a day is going to make. Yesterday was spectacular. Today, the rain is rolling in, even the chance for some strong to severe storms. The Storm Prediction Center does have part of our area from Detroit on down south into Toledo and then back to the west in that risk of severe storms, a marginal risk. That's a one on a scale between one and five, so not a big threat, but we could see a little bit of wind as well as some light into the afternoon, mainly after two o'clock. You see the red shading talking about that chance for rain. The real heavy rain and that chance for some stronger storms comes after two and then goes through about eight, even nine o'clock tonight. We are cooler today compared to yesterday. Yesterday we made it well into the 70s. Today, 57 degrees for the afternoon high. So there is future cast showing the rain coming in a few waves. We'll see a few showers this morning and then this afternoon and evening pinpointing some heavier downpours. And again, the chance for a couple of stronger storms. The main threat would be some lightning and a couple of wind gusts tomorrow morning. A couple of showers as well, but most of the rain over with by Friday afternoon. High temperatures today, not into the 70s like yesterday. In fact, we're going to be in the upper 50s, still above the average in some spots getting into the afternoon hours. Waterford at 49 degrees today. Milford at 50 for the afternoon high and northern zones in the 40s. 48 degrees in Sandusky. So into the next seven days today again 57 degrees. We'll see rain chances for today up to 80% only a 20% coverage of rain on Friday in the weekend looking good and dry. Sandra back to you. Thank you, Troy. That's a look at your headlines on this Thursday. We'll be back later today covering stories that matter to you on air and streaming on the CBS News app. Have a great day.